Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, I just got to tell you one little story. When I was with Benny Goodman, we were working in uh, London, Ontario, mm -hmm. uh, around 1950. And uh, I, I used to room with Wardell Gray, yeah. so of course we, we know very well. We knew very well. And uh, one, one night after we got through the concert in Canada, for some reason, they always had two pianos like this. I don't know why, but they always had two pianos. And we got through the concert, and, and then I started to play Sonny Igo and, and Clyde and Lombardi started to jam a little bit. And a very heavy set man said, uh, do you mind if, if I sit in a little bit? And I said, no, go, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. That's like a movie. 
All the guys were packing and the bus was outside and Benny Goodman was back there someplace and he started to play fine and dandy. Mm -hmm. And he played one chorus and he played two choruses and three choruses and all of a sudden people started to come around. By the time he played the th about the 25th chorus, the whole band was there and I have never heard anything like that in my life. That was my introduction to Oscar Peterson. Oh, yeah. and I never, yeah. I mean, I just never heard anything like this in his life, you know, yeah. in my life. But the fact that I'm glad he stopped singing because I got enough trouble. I mean, you know, he's, he's he sounded just, just like Nat. He sounded yeah, exactly he like, like Nat. He played, he used to play like Nat. Yeah.